Good morning again. So I think this is going to be one of the last hikes I do in uh, this neck of the woods in southern Utah. And we're starting out in my car. I am at Zion National Park. I'm going to be starting off um, on the far northern end. I think this is a part that a lot of people don't usually go to. So this is going to be a scenic drive up Kolob Canyon. And there's at least two little side hiking trails we can do off of this area. So we'll start out with a nice scenic drive up the canyon and then um, go up there and see what we can see. See what we can see. There is some snow and stuff on some of the trails, so this will be um, a little more of a winter hiking experience, but I've got plenty of gear and stuff. I just don't have the crampons for my shoes, so we'll see how icy, wet, slippery it potentially might be, but let's go check out this uh, scenic drive first. So the plan is to wind our way all the way up to the top of the scenic drive here, and then more on the way back, we'll do the hiking trails. I think one of the trails towards the top is about one mile out and back, and then halfway back down is about a five mile trail out and back. Again, depending on conditions, we'll see how far we can actually hike on these little side trails. Made it to the top of the scenic drive. Very nice overlook up here. Yeah, this is just fantastic. And ambient temperature at this altitude is probably right at freezing, and there's a good wind blowing. So it is uh, well below zero for the wind chill factor, so I'm definitely bundled up. There's um, an overlook trail here that starts off from this parking lot somewhere. So let's go see where that starts. There's some stairs over there. And this is the one mile hike, I think. It goes up to the top of the ridge up there, maybe? I'm not sure. I'll have to go explore it. See what kind of views we can get from up there. Yeah, this is gonna be the first one for today. Timber Creek Overlook Trail. Just goes straight up one mile out and back. Initially, it doesn't look like there's too much snow out here, so I don't think that'll be an issue. Yeah, now it definitely feels like I'm hiking in the mountains in January. It's very cold up here. <laughs> we should be at the uh, end of the trail to whatever the overlook is here in a second. formations out here are just incredible. This is probably the less visited canyon area, so not many people actually get to see this part of the park. The uh, main park canyon is up over on the other side of that ridge somewhere. And I love it that once again I'm all alone up here. Now I'm at the end of the line for this trail. This is a very lovely little easy to do out and back.
on our way back to the parking lot. And we'll start slowly moving on down to the next trail. I feel like this is a good test for my gear. I don't think I've ever been out this cold before. Only like down to right at about freezing, but it is definitely well below freezing with the wind chill. So I think we'll uh, head our way back, back down the scenic drive. And uh, there's a pull off or two before we get to the next trailhead. Take some more shots down there in a little bit. All right, next stop is our next trailhead. Okay, here's the next one, the Taylor Creek Trail. So we're up here, and we'll be taking this one. It goes up a um, canyon till whenever, and all the way back. Two and a half miles up, two and a half miles back. There's one other car in the parking lot, so I may have company. One other person, that's not bad. The creek's kind of half frozen. I think this is about what I imagined. Temperatures are still right about freezing. There's not much wind, so it's definitely feels warmer in that respect. And I think the trail pretty much follows the creek the whole time. If it gets to a point where the creek is like wide and I would have to get wet or something, I'll probably turn around at that point. Being cold and dry is fine. Being cold and wet is not good. I feel like this is one of those areas to where it's so beautiful and quiet and peaceful. Clear blue skies. Kind of underlines a, um, a hidden danger, potentially. If you're not careful and you get lost back here or something and have to stay the night out here and temperatures dip way below freezing. It's just always something you got to keep in the back of your mind. Even no matter how experienced of a hiker you are, there's always a 
element of danger to everything that you got to be cognizant of. But that aside, <laughs> I am enjoying the hell out of it out here. Yep. <laughs> Just taking a moment every five minutes or so to appreciate where I am. This is awesome out here. It's kind of a short trail, so I'm just taking it like super slow. Plus the trail's kind of icy, so I don't want to slip and take a stumble or anything. But it is just amazing out here. Definitely one of those less appreciated parts of Zion, I think. Everybody else goes to the other main canyon. I feel like I'm starting to get a lot closer to the taller cliffs now. Still haven't run into anybody else out here yet. Still all by myself. That's the way I like it. It just feels like um, when you're by yourself out here, it just feels a lot more, um, I don't know, special. Like it's all just meant for me. And these canyon cliff walls are super high. Just so amazing out here. Highly recommended. This is a very awesome little hike. Kind of feels like we're almost at the end of this. Canyon walls are getting tighter and tighter. We're not so much crossing the stream left and right as we are kind of just going up the stream. And it kind of feels like we've done two and a half miles, maybe. So I don't know, maybe at some point the trail just kind of comes to an impassable wall and that's the turnaround point. I don't know. But we'll see, I guess. Here's a cool surprise, a little cabin. Just out of nowhere. Looks like it's locked so you can't go in, but it looks like there's not really that much going on anyway. That's super cool. Here, old sign is knocked down. The Fife Cabin, 1930. All right, that's kind of cool. I ran into the other group that was out here. They were heading back to the uh, trailhead. And they were saying that there's just a little bit more of the trail left and it'll be pretty obvious where it comes to an end. So we're just about there. The colors of the rocks are just awesome. It's 
kind of like um, they're not getting hit by the sun directly, but there's kind of a glow effect that's coming off of them. Uh, it's just so hard to capture the epicness of all of this. Definitely got to come out here in person and see it. But this area is a really cool big rock overhang. Maybe a more active waterfall in the summertime. Hearing a lot of noises kind of echo off this area. As far as I know, nobody else out in ahead of me. <laughs> Double arch alcove is what it's called. Yeah, there's a lot of noise coming from this area. Echoing of dripping waters or something. Go, oh, let's see how close we can get. Yeah, that's just like a huge echo chamber. Definitely cannot capture the scale on camera. Yeah, I think this is pretty much the turnaround point. At least I'm gonna turn around here anyway. One last look around. Oh. And clear blue skies. All right. I think it took me about an hour and a half or so to hike in. And then hiking back always seems to go quicker. Plus I won't be stopping for taking so much video. So it may only take me like an hour to get back, we'll see. I'm definitely not in a rush though. Back at the cabin again, yeah that was pretty quick. I'm starting to run into more groups of people as it's getting into the afternoon hours. So I'm not so totally alone out here. Kind of feels like I'm starting to make my way out of the tighter spaces of the canyon walls. Definitely one of those trails that it's probably hard to capture on film. You just gotta come out here to experience the awesomeness of it. The sun's finally out at a point. Where it's starting to warm up really nice now. Layers are coming off.
Yeah, it looks like we made it. Whew, back at the start, Taylor Creek. That was awesome. That was a perfect way to spend the day. Well, I think that's gonna end it for this trip. Those were some awesome hiking trails. It was definitely uh, cold this morning on that first one up at the top of the peak. Temperatures were way below freezing with the wind chill, but it's warmed up pretty decently right now. And uh, yeah, I think after this, I'm gonna start making my way back. Um, maybe hit up only one or so more places, I think, in the next uh, couple of days, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next adventure.